Hi and welcome to this week's Something for the Weekend. I'm Tony, sales manager here at Martin Lynch & Sons. And this week we're going to be doing a band guide again. So it's going to be the 21 megahertz or 15 meters band, whichever way you want to say it. But before we do that, if you like, comment and subscribe on this video, I'm going to be giving away a freebie again. Seeing as the uh, Kenwood TS890s are back in stock and we've got another Kenwood delivery, I'm going to be giving away one of these. So it is, I've been told, a Kenwood golf club cleaner. However, I don't know about you, but I don't actually play golf, so I prefer to call it a Kenwood bar mat or bar towel. So you can just pop it on there, pop your drinks on top in the shack, because I know some of you have got your own little breweries in your shacks, and uh, you can use that. And on top of that, obviously the uh, Kenwood pen, which has the rubber part on it there, so that you can use it on the touch screen, on whichever radio you're doing. Obviously other brands are available. On top of that, because that that's not all. I'm feeling kind of generous today, and Martin's not in the office. So there will also be a £20 online gift voucher. So as I said, just like, comment, and subscribe on this video, and you too can have a £20 gift voucher and these lovely freebies. Anyway, let's get over to the radio and see what's on the band. Right, well, let's get going, and we're going to the start of the band, which is at 21 megs, surprisingly enough. Now, from 21 to 21.070 is the CW section of the band, so let's... Add a bit of uh, AF and see if anything's on the band or anyone. We've got a signal here. And as always, when we're recording live, we have to see what's happening on the bands. And uh, it's uh, around about half past two on a weekday in the afternoon here in the UK. So we'll see what happens. The bands haven't been too great uh, this week, but uh, let's see what you know. Let's see what's going on. Let's see if we can get these uh, these signals decoded and work out who's on the band. So at the moment, looking at the band scope across here, we've got a, a few signals popping up. Lovely CW signal here, nice five nine nine, and. Uh, no SSB activity at the moment, but we'll we see what we do as we go along and, and go from there. So let's turn this up for a little while and just have a listen now and see if we can work out who it is. And as you all know, and all of you uh, viewers know, my CW isn't that great, but uh, let's see what we can do. If not, leave it in the comments section. It was a lot better if we can find someone called in CQ, obviously. So I'll, uh, I'll keep an eye on the screen for that. And that's the beauty, obviously, of operating with a, a display, is you can often see the patterns come through. So he's obviously uh, disappeared for a moment, so let's uh, go back down to this one. We've got a tuner. go from here. So obviously this station now is called in Asia, uh, CQJA, and looking for Asian stations. And uh, the good thing with the 15 meter band is if you're in the UK, 15 meters operates really well for sort of um, Asian contacts, etc. Sort of more early in the morning, to be honest with you, but you do find that they can carry through until the afternoon. Um, what you'll mainly kind of hear on the band in the UK in the afternoon is uh, a lot of stateside stations, so North America, etc. So this will be interesting to see if, it, if anything does pop up here and uh, see if we can catch this guy's call sign as well. So I'm not running any preamps at all and just running the, uh, the beam at the moment sort of aimed south. He's uh, going to dip out again. So we've got a Charlie Tango station from Portugal calling. I'm pretty soon as there's a CT station there. And he's looking for JA. So 
so I don't think we're going to get any luck with the JS station as I said normally in the UK it's normally sort of in, in the morning after sunrise that we're, we'll be getting JAs anyway as you can see the band does kind of go in and out the way the propagation works on on 15 as i said very much like sort of 10 meters and 12 meters as well um the, the strange thing is i kind of find that when i've been working on the 15 meter band is i've kind of found it more like 17 meters um in that the way the propagation works there so let's um have a look down so as i said uh, 21 to 21 is your cw section now Let's move along from there. And if we go 21070 to 21090, you're going to find uh, mostly narrowband mode, so i.e. your FT8, etc. Which I think we all know the sound of FT8 by now. And obviously if you want to run uh, PSK and the likes of that, then obviously you can do it on this section of the band. Bit of a boring band when you're doing it on the video unless you're, you're decoding at the same time. So uh, we'll move on from there. So 21090 to 21110, so 500 hertz, is going to be uh, all modes basically, excluding SSB. So you can run unattended stations, etc. from there. So I don't think we're going we're gonna to sort of find much along there. I'm going to fault so. Okay, just change mode as well whilst I'm here. So now we're going to upper sideband. So uh, we've got up to 120, so 21.120 through to 21.149. Okay, is also again narrow band modes. So again, if you're running digital modes, etc., perfect for that. And then 21.149 through to 21.151. We have the IBP or the International Beacon Projects frequencies. So we can have a look and see. I mean, we didn't have much luck last time on 10 meters uh, looking for beacons, but we can have a little look now and see if anything sort of pops up. So 149 to 151, let's see if, uh, if anything pops up. Should really be in CW mode, but we should see if anything does come anyway on the scope. Right, so not, nothing there. I'm not going to hang around there. Right, now moving up, 21.151 through to 21.450. A huge, huge chunk of bands for all modes, basically, including, obviously, SSB. So let's have a little move along. I, <laughs> I thought from the corner of my eye that I saw someone come on an SSB there. So uh, at the moment, here we go. Let's get up there. No, I think we've just got a tuner for the moment. So we'll see, we'll see if someone pops up there. And nothing else at the moment. It's always nice to hear a bit of SSB, but... You never know, we might get a bit, a bit of the X caller, we may be in luck. Right, so there is some SSB starting to come through now. Maybe the band's going to start changing. Just adjust the RF gain a bit. We'll see if that comes up a little bit more. I'll give you a couple of uh, spot frequencies as well for um, this higher section of the band. So basically 21.180 can be used for digital voice mode. So if some of you are running icon radios, for example, you can use your digital modes, i.e. D-Star, etc. on there, or 3DV if need be. Uh, 21.285 is your QRP center of activity. So all you guys that have got your 705s, 818, 817s, etc. Ellie crafts, then by all means jump on there. Uh, 21.340 is the imaging center. So if you're running SSTV, uh, perfect on that frequency. And 21.360 is the global emergency center of activity. So if there's any obviously global emergencies, you'll find that those fre that frequency is left clear. 
I'm going to turn that down a bit there and see just to see if that comes up a bit. But I mean, we're on 21200. Oh, here we go. So we can already see in that short amount of time that we've been listening uh, that the band has changed a bit and we've gone from no signals on SSB basically to uh, now uh, the RK station coming through now rather loud and the DX station as well I'm, I'm taking it's going to be a DX, DX station on 21200 which is kind of the, the calling frequency for DX and a good indication as well if you go to any band really if you go to the center of DX activity on, on that band or the calling supposed calling frequency then it's always worth going to that just to see if anything's happening so you may think the band is quiet but that's always a good spot because a lot of people will go straight to that to call so uh such a shame they're a little bit weak i'd love to know which which station it is calling so we'll see what happens here always interesting as well if you're into propagation is to you know if the bands aren't too busy and you're not there speaking to anyone it's, it's always just to have a listen and it's great great way to learn about the band so if you've got spare half an hour or an hour just have a listen you know try and work out what happens at certain times during the day so that when you do have a bit of time to actually speak to people you, you know what to expect so he's calling away there but um He's obviously not listening to the other stations still calling, so not much joy there. I'm just looking up up and down the band. As I said, the great thing with the scope is we can look up and down the band, see if any further activity comes on. Now, I don't really want to put the preamp in because we've got a, a bit of a noisy location here, and but we can give it. I mean, we can give it a quick go and see. But got some activity here which looks to be outside of the band. So let's try the preamp. Turn that down a bit. I think we're going to struggle there as per usual always when we do a video it's always the same <laughs> all right let's bring the uh, let's, let's bring the preamp back out bit of rf bit of rf gain again right we'll have a quick scoot up the band and see if there's anything else there so the signal i thought was out of band is actually in band and we've got a bit of CW. And as usual, just as I get there, they sign off. As I said, my CW isn't that great, and that's either not English or the ears aren't working too well. <laughs> I'll leave it for a little bit and have a little listen. And again, pop it in the comments if you can uh, decode this. leave it there for the moment so as i said we can go all the way up to 450 here we'll go one sweep back down the band through the ssb section and see if anyone else pops up um, if not i think we're going to probably leave it there for now but i just wanted to give you a quick insight into the 15 meter band uh, as i said if you're in the uk and you want to try and work asia etc you know especially for you guys running ft8 then i suggest early in the morning sort of summarized time uh working across the atlantic etc then obviously during the day um 
Now, is the band open in the evening? A lot of the times, no. However, what you will find is if conditions are up, it sometimes drags across sort of into early evening. It's kind of like 10 meters does in a way, but it does drag across into the early evening if need be. So let's have one scoot back down the band. Okay, so we've popped back to the radio, heard a station calling. So uh, let's have a little listen. It's about half an hour or so from uh, when we last popped onto the radio. So as I was saying, conditions do change uh, a lot on 15. So I've got a lovely Sugar Victor station now, nice and loud on 15. Golf 2, Mike Lima, G2ML, Golf 2, Mike Lima. Okay, yeah, QSO, it's Golf number 2, number 2, 1, 2, Mike Lima. You're 5 and 9 into uh, London near Heathrow Airport, QSO. Okay, Golf 2, Mike Lima. Uh, good evening from Greece, my family. This is Michael from 5959, Rosen. Yeah, QSO, Michael, name is is Tony, and it's the uh, club station for the Martin Lynch shop. So uh, many thanks for returning the call and uh, good DX for today. Thank you, Tony, Bell 73, my friend. Bye-bye. Cure that from uh, 15, I'll say Q15. Okay, so as you just saw, band conditions completely different within sort of half an hour or so. Fair enough, he is the only signal on the band at the moment. <laughs> but, uh, you know, he was workable, whereas we'd gone from absolutely having no one on the SSB portion. So, again, I'll pop back in a, a bit later and, uh, and see what happens and see if any other stations come up. Maybe we'll get some sort of North American stations. We never know, but uh, it seems to be uh, propagation is heading towards the south at the moment. OK, so it doesn't always turn out as we want it to, but you know how the sunspot cycle is at the moment and conditions. However, I mean, 21 megs, great band. As you saw, there's plenty of room for everyone to play around with. Uh, when the contests are on, obviously the band is packed. It's great for trans equatorial DX in and also a bit of sporadic here as well. So kind of like uh, on your 10 meter band and then 12 meters, you're going to get that as well with the band. Anyway, before we go again, just a quick reminder, as I said, TS 890s are back in stock. I know a lot of you have been asking about that. So get your orders in very, very quick for that. And again, please like, comment and subscribe to this video and you'll get this Kenwood Golf Stroke Bar Towel, the pen, and the all-important £20 gift voucher. And that's for online use only. So, we'll see you soon. Take care and enjoy the weekend.